Hey all, my name is Kurt. This is Trent. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Hey, like I promised, we are following up on our blends video. So many of you folks, I mean, we had a lot of great participation from that video. And you folks sent me a ton, a lot of your homemade blends. And Trenton, you didn't help one bit. I heard it was a rough night in the bar. You had 40 or so that you had to try, and you went through all of them, and you were on the floor a couple times. I heard it wasn't good. No, it wasn't that bad. He's lying a little, just a little bit. He's stretching the truth a little bit, but I will promise you this. I tried each and every one of them. I really did. I poured them, I twirled them a bit, and I let them sit for at least 30 to 45 minutes before I tried any of them. And there was at least 50. I, there's no doubt. I tried them within three days, though. So I, okay. I, 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 I tried seven each time, so whatever that takes. One time I did one in, in like early afternoon and then an evening, though, okay. like on a weekend. But I did try them all. I promise you that. I tried them all. You folks had some really ingenious ideas, really, really good stuff. And it was really hard for me to pick. I actually circled the ones I thought were the best. I ended up with like eight or nine, and we can't do eight or nine. So then I had to go from there and retry them and get my five that we have on the top tonight. So, unfortunately, the women in our lives are busy today. Shame, right? Yeah. So we can't do these blind, and I'm not the type just to shuffle things around and, and say we're doing a blind. If we're gonna do a blind, I really wanna do a blind, yeah. right? So Michelle is knee deep in, in her schoolwork and she's got a monster paper to finish. My wife's out and about for the weekend and so she's not here either, so it's just me and this guy. Yeah. That's it. So. I, I did want to follow up with this, and I do want to pick our favorites, and we can do that, but we just we just unfortunately can't do it blind today. So I apologize for that. All right, before we get tasting, bud, I want to say one thing. Don't miss next Thursday's video. Don't miss it. This Thursday. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Did I say? Yeah, next Thursday. Oh, so it's, this Thursday. It's a little bit, yeah, that would be a little bit facetious on what you're trying to yeah. do. He's right. My apologies. That's the better way to say it. Don't miss this Thursday's video. We are going to start our distillery review for Buffalo Trace. We've had a lot of comments about that. We've had a lot. And, and I know a lot of people have said, don't you like Buffalo Trace to me personally? Because hey. not a lot. <laughs> that's not the case at all. I have mixed feelings about certain things and I'm not going to bring that out right now. Now is not the time or place, but we will. And we'll have an honest conversation about all of Buffalo Trace, at least everything that we have, yeah. right? There's a couple allocated that we just don't have. However, yeah, I couldn't get them. Yeah, and you, that's saying something. But we're going to start from the very beginning at the bargains, and we're going to go all the way to the top the best we can. So don't miss that. It's probably going to be what, probably three or four shows, I imagine. Probably something yeah. like There's that. There's a lot going on. So I've already got the first one repaired, prepared. We're going to start with the budgets. So uh, we'll, we'll get in honest and detail what we feel about Buffalo Trace. So don't miss it. Okay, please don't miss it. Starting Thursday. All right, buddy. Let's, that sounds good. Let's start with number one here. I'm going to read these as we go for you. Go ahead. Before we start, yep, go ahead. It's, it's like noon on a Sunday. <laughs> I have is. never drank this much on a Sunday morning. No, I haven't. So it's going to be rough. It, it is. And this is our first taste. But and I got to drive to Kentucky after this. See, and that's why we're doing it right now. This is, you know, our, our weekend's kind of messed up because he's leaving here in just, what, a couple hours yep. probably? You know, and I've got to go help my mom after this, go trim a tree. You know, that happens. It is what it is. So right now is the only time that we could do it. Yeah. So we're going to get it done. So quit your whining. It'd be all right. <laughs> it's going to be a good morning. It'd be all right. So this first one was submitted by a fellow named John. Okay. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, Trenton, and it's Old Granddad Bottle and Bond and Rittenhouse Bottle and Bond. So you have a high rye bourbon with a rye whiskey, but not a high rye whiskey. This will be interesting. Yeah. Both of these are yeah. phenomenal. I thought it was really You really, really can't go wrong with either yeah. of these for budget stuff. So that's what we have for number one. You get a lot Beautiful of rye spice on yeah. the nose, for sure. I will say I poured every one of these at 6 o'clock this morning. That's what I did. Well, that's why there's bugs in it. So, <laughs> so they've been sitting on my desk for about five hours. It's fine. A little dust don't hurt. <laughs> nah. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like that. I love rye, though. So I feel I like know. if you're not a big rye fan, this might not be your thing. And but that's man. understandable. I like it, too. Maybe not quite as much as you and Kent do, but I like it, too. And that's why I picked this one out, yeah. because that Rittenhouse, 
lends a little bit more of the clove and those kind of flavors too. And with that old granddad bottle and bottom boy, it really is a fantastic. Who did this, John? John. I would have never thought to put these two together, but no. it makes sense. Yeah, great job, John. I love Honestly. it. That's really good. Yeah, good. All right, number two. I'm gonna say this wrong, but uh, I'm just gonna spell it. How's that? Uh, person C H A G H, Chag, Chaga, Chag. Apologize if that's wrong. C H A G H. Uh, they submitted a one to one to one ratio. <laughs> Get this. Ready for this? Widow Jane Tenure, Ooh. Old Forester 1910, and Woodford Double Oak. Both. Yeah. All three all, of them are insane. All stunners. We've been really digging Widow Jane yeah, recently. Absolutely. It's good stuff if you can find it. Boy, that's it's awesome. It's like syrupy banana almost. Yeah, I love it because I could actually get a little bit of that 1910. I could yeah. actually get a little bit of that, you know, if you think of what's in there with the Widow Jane too. But then that, that Woodford syrupy note comes through too. It almost seems like no, nothing's overpowering anything Ooh. else in here. It's just like Real a nice, nice, nice blend. Oh man. Mm -hmm. You like get it. everything in there. Great job. There's some note that I think I'm getting from the wow. Widow Jane that I don't, I can't quite like a fig or yeah. like a date or Yeah, something. it really turns, he's right. <clears throat> That's great on your part because he's 100% right there. It turns it into a little bit more of that raisiny fig date type of a, of a palette note. Wonderful. I like it. Great stuff. All right, buddy. Number three. This one I wanted to do, okay? Um, it was done, it was it was submitted by a lot of people, 0% uh, Liberal Show, Rick M, WJK, and Nate from Everyday Drinker all submitted a one-to-one -one ratio of Old Forester 1910 and 1920. Now, I understand this is a little bit of a no-brainer, but it was freaking good, so I had it to put it up here for you. <laughs> I had to put it up here for you. And of course, of course, in the ranks out there, it's, it's actually called... 1915. That's. I was just going to bring that up. 1915. <clears throat> we had a couple of folks in our, our yeah. uh, Discord talk about that one the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the nose is fabulous. He's right. Wow. Is that a one to one? Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to start making. I might have to make it a canter with that yeah. at home. Because I mean, if that'd be real. a good idea. Because yeah. you put that in decanter, you can't go wrong. Mm -mm. Really, really good stuff. Wow. Thanks for that one, boy. Great. Fantastic. All right, this one's a little bit different. And I want to put it up here because it's good. Remember I told you, I tried them all. Yep. But this is actually a blend uh, from somebody who has their own uh, whiskey tube on YouTube. Now, honestly, I haven't, I haven't ever seen their show. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it is. But uh, Josh and Aaron at Stuff and Whiskey. This oh, is I've a seen some of their stuff. Have you? I yeah. have not. Yeah. So I'm going to do They're that. Good guys over there. I'm going to do that. Uh, Josh and Aaron at Stuff and Whiskey. Uh, they call this the Banana Pancakes Blend, and it was recommended to us by WJK again, Chris Mann, and Axe Gecko. Now, banana Pancakes is spot on with this well, nose. Jack Daniels, single barrel barrel proof, right? <laughs> 1910, Wood, uh, Old Forester, 1910, Woodford, double oak. So that's kind of similar to the... Similar. Oh, not the Widow Jane. Okay. But but it's, it's substituting the uh, Jack Daniels. Okay. So, and again, they call it Banana Pancakes Blend. That's... This is their blend. And I don't, now, I don't like fruit in my pancakes. Yeah, I agree. I, I get you. I don't No either. butter, no whipped cream. Just give me okay, the syrup. Now, you can't do butter. He lost me with butter. You need to load up some butter. No. Nope. Throw on some syrup. But I'm with you on the fruit. And this nose is really fabulous. I would go out and order some banana pancakes after smelling this. <laughs> Josh and Aaron, man, if you if you ever listen to this, man, screw the mimosas. This go is, for this in the morning. <laughs> this is good. The nose on this is truly banana pancakes. They're not lying. You definitely get that jack in there. I like that it raises the proof, but it doesn't drink like. Mm -hmm. You get the flavors from the jack, but it's not. Right. I don't want to say overly proof, but it's not. Yeah, I love heavy. this one. Don't get me wrong, <clears throat> but to me personally, the nose beats the palate. It does. The nose is otherworldly. Trust me. The palate's great too, but the nose is just otherworldly. Not all the flavors, not all, not all the notes on the on the nose follow through on the palate for me. 
Yeah. Did you I, find that out too? Or yeah. I would. Me? I would put this in like a sensi all day. <laughs> if the, the of flavors, course you would. The flavors are solid too. Yeah. You just don't quite match the nose. Right. It's very good. Don't get me wrong, but the nose is outrageous. But great, there are, great job, honestly, great job. For me though, sometimes like I'll I'll smell a bourbon or a whiskey or whatever. I'm like, oh, this smells like sweet tarts or something. Yeah. And then I drink it. And I'm like, this isn't sweet tarts. Yep. And I kind of let myself down because I'd rather have sweet tarts. Mm -hmm. But that's that's kind of what I'm what I'm getting here a little bit. Mm -hmm. But still, yeah, really good. It's good stuff. All right, buddy. Last one we got to do here. We're gonna try. This is from Touch of Grace. Love the name, by the way. Touch of Grace. It's a one to one to one ratio. It is uh, Old Forester 1910, Old Forester 1920, but their addition to that is Sagamore Double Oaked Rye. Ooh. And I, I was super intrigued by that, and I did like the flavor of it because that Sagamore Double Oaked Rye really lends a beautiful oak note and a little bit more of that rye content to the uh, Old Forester yeah. stuff. So. I see a theme here with the old Forester products going in blends. And it was all over the place, trust yeah. me. That smells really good. Yeah, very good. A lot different than the others. It's almost like that Sagamore Double Oak kind of dumbs down or dulls down the banana mm -hmm. flavor that you typically get from, from old Forester. Yeah. Okay, it's interesting because mm -hmm. to me it almost tastes like I'm just drinking Sagamore Double Oak. I don't get the other two in it. What is this? 1910, 1920. Correct. I don't get it. One to one of, to one ratio. I get a lot more banana on the nose than I do on the than the palate. Mm -hmm. But and that, that rye a, note does give you that sting. Yeah. And what you're tasting is what I'm <clears> tasting, I think, is that oak presence that you get in that uh, Sagamore Double Oak. And yeah. I can get what you're saying. I thought it was an awesome blend because... The 1920 and the 1910 didn't overshine the yeah. Sagamore Double Oak, but I do. I, you're right. You get that oak note on that Sagamore, but another good one for sure. I would drink every single one. Of them. <laughs> I know that's the thing. Uh, you know, we have to pick. You know, we have to pick what our. You know, I don't. I don't even want to pick our least favorite. Tell you the truth, we just skip that because they're all great. You just give our top two, maybe. Um, and see where we go from there because uh, it, it really doesn't you know they're all good you know they're they're all very good but i I'm, i always speak first and and sometimes my wife gets on me for that but so <laughs> as you know your mother so i want to know you what, what what you felt now let me just refresh your memory okay so you remember you had the uh the old granddad uh, bottle and bond written house okay that's number one number two was the widow jane 1910 in woodford all right, and over here we have the uh, just a one to one, the 1910 and 1920, the 1915, and on number four you got the uh, Jack Daniels, the 1910 and Woodford Double Oak, and the last one was 1910, 1920, and, and the Sagamore Double Oaked. My top two, mm -hmm. since I think every single one of these contains an old Forester product, I got to go with the. The first one, the old granddad and the Rittenhouse, just nice. because it's it's different. Yes. It makes it's sense. It's very good, too. It, it is really good. It makes it's sense awesome. that you would combine the two. Yes. I just would have never thought about it. I'm not that clever. <laughs> and the price point of this, I mean, what, Rittenhouse is like 20-some bucks, old granddad's yeah. like 20-some yeah. bucks still. Yeah. And anybody can get that. Yeah. Right. And I mean, it's on every shelf. If I might be a little bit biased here because I'm a big rye fan, mm -hmm. but for me, this just kind of takes. Yeah, if you do love rye, that, that's, this is definitely something that I would. I would mix this. In, I would mix all these at home, but this right. would be one that right. would just right. knock my socks off. I think. Right. Um, <clears throat> the other one, I'll let you do your first one, then I'll think because this is a tough. Okay, one. these are solid. Well, my first one, Trenton, has to be for me. Is is number two, and that's the one that combines the Widow Jane with the uh, with the nineteen ten and the Woodford Double Oak. Mm -hmm. That would be number two. Glass. That would be my number one. You know, and it, and it's easy for me to say my number two would be the nineteen fifteen. It's it's so easy to it's kind of an easy choice though, really, because it's it's nineteen twenty yeah. nineteen ten, but. I lean strongly to your opinion of this. If you're a rye guy at all, or a rye lady at all, 
this first one is Old Granddad Bottle Bond Rittenhouse's Dynamite. I, I, would, I would, if you're not a big fan of rye and you have both of these at home or you want to try something that might kind of push you off the cliff into the to the rye valley, I would I would mix this up. I think it's a really good, uh, com like a, a good medium between a rye and a bourbon mm -hmm. and you get a little bit of the rye spice but the proof isn't super high either. Mm -hmm. And the, the Rittenhouse kind of dulls down to 114 proof, so if you're not a big fan of high proof stuff, yeah. I think this is a great option for you. Right. Yeah, it is fantastic. But, you know, uh, we're dealing with every one of these being fantastic to begin with. Yep. They were all they were all very good in my opinion. That's why I put them up here. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead, bud. My second would be the Widow Jane 10-year uh, 1910 Woodford Double Oak. Okay. I love the Raisin. Yes. Date it, fig yes. note that you get from this. Absolutely. And the oak, and then you yes. get like a little banana. To me, yeah. it's like it's a really nice. It combination. raises a lot of diff of different palate notes that you normally do not see. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm with him there too. That those are wow. those are my two here. The rest of them are fantastic. And, and trust me, the only reason I didn't do the 1910 and I, that's another fabulous one, but it's. That's a common sense one, you know what I mean? I put it up here because I want all of you to know to try it because it's that good, but that was kind of an easy combination. For like, when we did our Bottle and Bond competition, <clears throat> we didn't pick the old, the old Fitzgerald for one, or the 14 year because it was so good. Right. That's kind of where I think we kind of sit with the 1915, it's just yeah. so good. Yeah, it, it's very good and, and would it be better now Let's be truth be known. Let's put it all on the table because we do all the time anyway. So, you know, would I say the 1910 and 1920 combination is a little bit better than this than this rye combination? Yes, it is. It is. For me, would I say it's a little bit better than this one? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think this so. This one's really good. It really is. So just so you know where we're coming from with that. Uh, I'm, I'm highlighting this one here just because not a lot of people would think about it. Just Different. what you said. Yeah. Nobody would put that together. So fantastic on John for that part. Great job on your part putting that together. So, you know, but let's face it, but all of them need to go up that way because they're just all that good. Really. I mean, everybody did a great job, honestly. Always, always, always appreciate your participation on this channel in the comments and everything that you do. Uh, that's what makes this, that's what makes our channel yep. work is you. It's not me, it's not him, it's you. And that's what makes this thing go. So we appreciate all of you, we really do. Please don't forget this Thursday. Thursday we're starting Buffalo Trace Distillery Review. It's going to last for a few shows, and it's going to be fantastic. And what I promise you, you will get is our honest opinions. As always, I ask you to please drink responsibly, and then we'll see you next time right down here with at least me and Trenton. I don't know about anybody else, but at least we'll yeah. be here in a good old basement bourbon bar. Hey, see you later. <laughs>